So today we're taking a look at how to create a simple NoLoco receipt scanning app with a few twists. For example, we're going to be taking pictures of our receipts using our NoLoco app and turning them into scanned images of said receipts, all using automation. Not only that, we're also going to be extracting data from said receipts using AI. So without any further ado, let's get stuck in. So we're going to start things off as we usually do with a very quick demo. And as you can see, we've got my phone on uh, the screen over there. And over here, I've got two receipts. Uh, one is kind of crumpled, kind of like how you would get a receipt. It's not perfect. And the other one is somewhat perfect, you know, not even creased or anything. So we're going to take some pictures of them and we're going to see how uh, the system behaves. I will press the scan it button and here we go. I'm just going to choose camera. I, and we're going to begin with the basic receipt, the one that's not crinkled or anything, hasn't got any imperfections. And we're going to see how it behaves. So because this is no loco, everything is going to be instantly synced between my phone and my computer over here. And as soon as the process kicks off, we should see something saying like starting up over here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to scan the other receipt, the one that is not really great. It's gone through a bunch of things in its life. Here we go. Submit receipt. And the first one is already there. So let's take a look at that. Um, this is the image that I took. Eh, it looks kind of okay. And this is the scanned version, which is a little bit skewed. Sometimes it does that, but most of the time it's going to be absolutely a-okay. If I sent this to my accountant, he would say, yes, that's a scan. It's a little bit weird, but it's absolutely okay. Now, let's see how it performs with the version that is slightly uh, damaged. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. It takes a few minutes. Like minutes, seconds. Here we go. And that's actually much better. That's actually not too bad. Now, it's not just about turning the receipt into like a scanned image. It's also fetching the sums uh, it's fetching the amount of items, it's fetching the date of purchase, and it's even fetching the business establishment. So, yeah, pretty cool. Let's see how this whole thing works. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say that we appreciate absolutely every single person who watches our videos. Now, we're trying to reach the target of 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year, December 31st, 2024. I know, that's a lame target. That's why I was thinking that if we reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, I will shave my beard. Yes, I will say bye-bye to my pride and joy, but I'm willing to let go of it. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Anyway, back to the video. So for this particular demo, things couldn't really be easier when it comes to setup. Uh, we don't have much to say about the database. Look at this. I mean, it's super easy. We just have uh, a name for the record. Uh, no formula, nothing. We just have an attachment field over here. We have the scanned uh, version. Again, just a simple attachment field. Uh, number fields for uh, total item. We also have a currency field for the sum, the business establishment. We have the date. And we also have a refresh timestamp uh, field that we don't really see inside of NoLoco, but we don't even need to. In terms of NoLoco itself, I just have a simple a quick link over here and I have a list of items of course you can take this to the nth degree and you can uh, you know track who's submitting it and then you you know you can do so many things with this but for the intensive purposes of the demo this is so 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 straightforward now let's jump into the make scenario that really makes this whole thing happen all right it's time to take a look at the automation and it's actually super simple. Everything begins with make.com. If you're not familiar with make, go get familiarized with make. You kind of need this tool in your life. But yeah, there is a link in the description down below so you can actually get like a full month of a pro account, I believe. And it's going to help the channel as well. Thank you. So from there, once you get an account on make, 
we basically have uh, an, a scenario, right? So go ahead and create a new scenario. And your first module should be a custom webhook. Put that in, copy this address, make sure that you press add and give it a name like I have done here. And once you get to this sort of stage, copy the address to clipboard and let's jump into NoLoco. So from there, what we need to do is we need to create a workflow. As you can see here, I've got a new receipt submission. And the trigger is that when a new record gets created and scanned receipts, we just simply push data to this particular webhook. Don't forget to turn this on. Don't forget to uh, review and publish your uh, app because otherwise it won't work. So yeah, once you're done with that, you've got your um, trigger sorted and the response should look something like this. Um, from there, I'm also using another no loco not another, I'm using a no look uh, module where I'm just simply updating that scan receipt with uh, the message of starting up so that my users know that, hey, something's happening. The system is just not like stuck or anything like that. It's working. From there, we're getting the record from um, Airtable like so, and we get the payload like so. From there, we have file stack which is, and again, actually, before I go into file stack, I want you to notice that there's two directions here. We have a router and then we have our first uh, route, which takes care of basically producing that scanned image. And we're going to go through that. And the second route over here takes care of actually extrapolating that uh, interesting data from that receipt, you know, the business, the amount of line items and so forth. So let's talk about the first route for some famous. We've got file stack and I'm using a upload a file module, upload a file using a URL link, the attachment URL and the attachment file name. Done. File stack. Another one. We've got another one from <laughs> DJ Khaled. So we've got another module for file stack, uh, make an API call. And this time the base URL needs to be set to uh, cdnfilesstackcontent.com. The URL that the endpoint and the API that we're trying to hit is doc detection forward slash handle. Put in your handle in here as well. Download file, yes. And then file name, just map the file name. From there, we have zero code kit. Essentially what we're trying to do, we're trying to create a temporary URL to the file. The reason for that is because file stack actually gives us like buffer data so it doesn't really upload anything anywhere it just gives us the buffer the bits and bytes of uh, the image that it has created it doesn't actually upload it anywhere so we need to use zero code kit uh, create a temporary file to url uh, and zero code kit finally gives us a file that we can use from there we update uh, our uh, receipt record I'm mapping my record ID in here. I've got my temporary file URL in there uh, in the scanned um, attachment field. You could give it a file name if you want. Sure, why not? Uh, and that's it. There's nothing else. Finally, we update our no local uh, record by uh, putting a now function over here in the refresh timestamp. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want no local to kind of like wake up and refresh itself. Uh, and this is one super easy, super straightforward way to do it. Of course, don't forget to move your record ID, otherwise you won't be able to do this. From there, we have our AI process, right? This other leg. And here we have our OCR receipt process, which basically uses ChatGPT vision. So analyze images and vision, that's the module that you need to use. But this is what my prompt looks like for the OCR. We have our image URL. I'm just putting the original, the picture actually, um, in this URL, uh, GPT-4.0, max tokens 2000, and that's it. From there, structured data, very important. So we're using the transform text to structure data module, again, for uh, OpenAL. And I'm using the 4.0 uh, latest model that we've got available. Um, and we have the text to parse. Basically, I'm putting the result from the OCR inside the text to parse. This is what my prompt looks like, and I'm collecting a few things, like a few key points of data. Uh, the item count, uh, this is the description, total paid, uh, business name, a date of transaction, that's it. 
thing there. Once I'm ready, I'm just printing all of that straight into an Oloco uh, module, just like so. And of course, just matching the record ID, because otherwise you won't be able to update the Oloco record. And that's it. There's really not much else to this process. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this little automation I came up with for scanning receipts and turning them into actual scanned images. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.